Well, today's cuts include funding to a city violence prevention program, the BSO, and higher education. Do we cut spending or do we cut people? And I am going to fight to keep people in their jobs. Governor Larry Hogan warned if the Board of Public Works does not cut the budget, 6,350 state employees will lose their jobs. Uh, they're all painful. And I would not have recommended a single one of these cuts. Frankly, I could never have imagined even considering voting for them. The board voted two to one to slash $413 million out of the state budget. Necessary, the governor says, to address the loss of tax revenue caused by the coronavirus outbreak. Treasurer Nancy Kopp voted no. I believe that, uh, that we should wait until our 2020 revenue are in um, July 15th and get a, a good picture of what the July, what, what the 2020 uh, uh, revenue are, get a better picture on what the federal government is going to be doing. At the request of Controller Peter Franchot and supported by Treasurer Nancy Kopp, the board deferred $205 million in cuts for a month. I just hate to see uh, prematurely uh, us taking balancing measures on teachers and state employees and vulnerable Marylanders. Those reductions included K-12 education funding, state employee pay raises, retirement benefits, and programs that benefit young people. But the governor warned if alternative funding isn't found, those cuts will be necessary, and again advised of the consequence of not acting. 3,157 more jobs that will need to be eliminated. A total of more than 10,250 state employees' jobs would be sacrificed without these cuts. The state budget office is recommending $1.45 billion in cuts this fiscal year and warned the amount could go as high as $4.6 billion in 2022. We will get across the finish line. The question and the challenge is to mitigate the pain and challenges that we have addressing these sooner rather than later. The board meets again July 22nd, and they will have new tax revenue numbers at their disposal. The $205 million in cuts deferred today is also expected to be on the agenda. Reporting live from downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.